Hey everyone, welcome to the results video of the mini Spooky Frontiers contest. So in this contest, uh, every player who joined had to uh, create a spooky version of Forest, Forest Frontiers on the original Forest Frontiers map. And yeah, this was a time limited contest, so uh, yeah, players who joined only had 24 hours to uh, complete whatever they were doing. Uh, I always like these uh, time limited challenges. We did a one hour contest before and I thought Forest Frontiers was appropriately sized for a 24 hour contest. Anyway, we got 14 completed entries uh, within the allowed time. So I'll start with the one that got last place and uh, I'll finish by revealing who won the round. Alright, here's the entry from Elon Muskrat. Now uh, he got quite a big penalty because he was uh, way too late with uh, sending in his entry. But also uh, he modified uh, quite some stuff outside the park. Um, I told players they were allowed to modify stuff up to five tiles uh, around the park, around the park limit, so they could add in extra trees and stuff. But uh, Elon Musk also made a path here invisible. So uh, yeah, I thought two two points penalty was already quite a lot, so uh, I just uh, kept it at that. Um, but yeah, he used the this uh, spooky uh, palette with a purple tint that uh, Cactus Coffee used in his uh, beer ride creation contest entry. Uh, I do really like that it makes the guests uh, look purple. Makes them really look like a little ghost walking around. Uh, he made a huge Ferris wheel here. Though uh, it is probably a bit stretched out vertically, which does make it look a little bit like an yeah, like an oval instead of a circle. When you go for a big ferris wheel uh, like this, always try to give it a circular shape. Um, here is also a big uh, RMC. Um, but yeah, when you make an RMC, uh, I think it's always a good idea to include an inversion or two. This one doesn't have any, not all RMCs do, but I think an RMC of this size could definitely uh, use an inversion here. Now the guests are also clipping through the support through some of the supports here. I'm not sure if that was intentional, but uh, the guests do like look like ghosts, so it could be uh, part of uh, <laughs> the team. Okay, then we have a tie for 12th place. Uh, this entry is from Fuldov. Oh, Fuldov made this uh, little entry here. He didn't use a lot of the map, uh, only around uh, half of the original land available, and for the rest he just spammed uh, these trees here. These trees, I think they look a little bit too spammy. It may have been nicer if he just uh, put some pine trees here, just like it's in the rest of the park. And he could have probably hidden the park fence. I made a tutorial on uh, how to do that uh, some time ago. Uh, anyway, um, there's two coasters here. There's actually three coasters, which is a lot for a small park this size. Um, yeah, the coasters, I do think they look kind of messy. They're both... Uh, and they're both sit-down coasters and one of them is broken down. Uh, yeah, wh what you should do when you submit a park is always make sure that all the rides are functioning. It's uh, it's usually not nice if uh, the viewers of the park have to wait until the rides get fixed before they can get to see them in action. You'll really want to uh, get the player in on the action immediately. Uh, well, one thing that I did really like was uh, how he did these flying, this flying saucer right here. He actually used the Cyclops cars from one of the expansions. And he actually made the track invisible and put these swamp uh, or these bubbling goo pieces here on top. I think that's uh, really creative and that's my favorite part of this entry. Alright, here's the other entry that also got 12 plays. This is the one from Ninja Pearl, also a newcomer on my uh, Discord. Uh, Ninja Pearl made this uh, Euro Fighter coaster here. So uh, it's quite big. It does look kind of unthemed. Maybe it would have uh, looked nice with, uh, with a few tunnels or something or uh, some uh, pumpkins, uh, stuff like that uh, right next to it. Also, it's quite high off the ground for uh, for a lot of the of the layout. So maybe that also could have been improved a little bit. Um, but yeah, of course, newcomer to my Discord. So of course, there's going to be lots of stuff that could be improved. Now here's also a junior coaster. Um, not really sure if wooden coaster cars are the best ride, or the best vehicle type for a junior coaster. These uh, cars look kind of heavy for this uh, track with these with its fragile uh, supports. 
But yeah, uh, overall, I think it's nicely, uh, it's kind of nicely themed. I, th I think uh, he did a good job with the, all the trees on the edge of the park here. Uh, yeah, I think it gives a nice border to the to the rest of the outside of the park. And it does look kind of spooky in the end. Okay, here's the entry from Jaron. He made this little wooden coaster here. Now, I think he did a nice job on theming the wooden coaster. It's a really nice uh, station here with these pumpkins and Mr. Bones on it, of course. I also like that, <laughs> he, uh, that the coaster goes around the pumpkin here with these signs saying, You're screwed. <laughs> That's uh, that's uh, that's foreboding. So, other than that, here's a little uh, orchard. It looks like, and here there's a maze with the text "Happy Halloween" on it. So that's that's really nice. I think it uh, would have scored higher if there was more in the park. Of course, this was uh, quite a short. Uh, yeah, this was quite a short contest. So. Uh, I think he did a good job with the time that he had. Although, of course, it could have been more impressive and scored and much higher. Okay, here's the entry from Emil. He made this uh, pixel art of uh, the skull of Mr. Bones. You may uh, recognize it if you see it here. Um, and he made a big wooden coaster uh, around it. Now, um, of course, yeah, many people uh, were complaining a bit about the wooden coaster. I mean, technically, the coaster is really well done. There's these nice supports, even as footers uh, under it. They are usually really tedious to do, but the layout of the coaster probably leaves something to desire. It's just uh, one, two, three, four hills, and then it's back to the station. <laughs> so yeah, for sure that could have been uh, made much better. But the pixel art, at least, of course, that's the eye catcher of this entry, and that looks really good. It's also a little go kart here, and. A uh, beautiful fountain here in the middle. Uh, so yeah, there's not much in the park, but uh, the stuff that Emil did put down, uh, I think uh, he did a really nice job on it. Okay, here's the entry from Phoenix Wing 101. Now she uh, decided to just fill up her park with uh, coasters uh, for some reason. Here's a junior coaster. I believe this is the exact same layout as the coaster she used for junior coaster. Um, for the junior coaster contest entry. Here's a boomerang with some nice supports and a rainbow car for some reason that goes very well with the spooky theme that was required. Uh, here's an RMC that's also uh, not really themed except for the station here. And here there's a, in the back there's a pink and purple coaster. Uh, yeah, also without uh, any theming, just a big rectangle of sand under it. Boomerang also just has a rectangle of sand under it. But of course, th there's also this uh, mansion, which is obviously themed to the one I built in my mega park. Uh, at least that one looks uh, looks quite nice. Though it does quite follow my uh, layout uh, to some extent, uh, especially the part outside, even with the holding brakes. But yeah, I think uh, instead of focusing on a big quantity of coaster, uh, Phoenix Wing 101 should have focused on actually making them look spooky. The park, I think it could have also used a nice and uh, gloomy palette instead of this uh, bright uh, sky that we see now. Okay, here's the entry from Lurker. Uh, he made this uh, really cool looking uh, village here. I like uh, how dense th this is and uh, I love all the little buildings here. I also like the color that the roofs get with this uh, palette that he made. Uh, here are some games, some prizes, several uh, rides here in this little village. So yeah, that's uh, that's really nicely done. There's also an RMC here in the back of the park. And next to it he also put this uh, stand-up coaster. Now there used to be a Woody here, but I recommended him to not actually put a Woody and an RMC next to each other. Because they both... Uh, those rides both usually become pretty big and uh, bulky with their supports. Uh, but yeah, then you put this uh, stand-up coaster. I think he should have gone for a different color here, just to make it uh, stand out more from the from the RMC. I think uh, some contrast between the rides would have been nice. But still, I think it's a really nice entry, and I love this, uh, especially love this uh, little village that he uh, made here. Okay, here's the entry from Kazulius. Uh, once again, an RMC in the park. 
I think uh, he did a really nice job on the layout of the RMC. That looks quite nice here in the back of the park. So some uh, really cool dec Halloween uh, decorations. And of course also a big uh, building for uh, the ghost train ride. Um, some interesting stuff happening on the roof as well. Some uh, There's some uh, entertainers here. This is <laughs> Jens running around really fast. <laughs> Well, yeah, there's some uh, fun stuff happening in uh, in this park. So I love uh, this decorations here at the entrance of the park. It's a nice and spooky graveyard with the guests also uh, walking around here. And apparently some of them are sitting on the gravestones eating. That's cool. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think he definitely did a nice job on making this entry look spooky. And it's just really enjoyable to watch. It's nicely themed. and. Uh, yeah, he just did a really nice job on it. Okay, here's the entry from Terror Hank. Uh, again, with a really cool uh, palette. Uh, well, here's the entrance, uh, with decorated with some skulls and pumpkins. Uh, I love this fountain that he made here, also with these uh, bones on top of them. And the crying skull on top, of course. Uh, he made a little side friction coaster here. I think it looks uh, really nice here. So I like how it goes around the pumpkin. Um, one thing I also really enjoyed in this park was this go-kart ride that he made here. Um, it just goes on the dirt here in the forest. But for some reason I think it looks just looks uh, really nice to see it go around here. Um, here's also uh, a quite morbid detail. Here's some uh, guests that are hanging in the trees. Uh, rip. And other than that, uh, why well, one detail I really enjoyed is this uh, graveyard that he made here. I think that looks really good. And I think it works really well as the queue for the haunted house. Some other rides here as well. Here's uh, one of these car rides which travels around on this rail on the ground. And here uh, you can also see a bobsleigh coaster which travels around these uh, pumpkins. So hey, this uh, entry really had some several uh, cool rides and I think this palette just makes the atmosphere uh, really nice. Okay, then we get the entry from AJ. Now he made a corrupted version of Forest Frontiers. Well, at least, uh, yeah, this is, uh, it looks like a normal version of Forest Frontiers with several rides and uh, buildings in it. But you can see a big rift uh, here in the middle of the park, which uh, apparently has opened. And lots of these black tentacles are coming out and wherever this rift is you can see lots of glitching going on. You can see some of these green squares flying around. <laughs> you can see this observation tower that he just completely freaked out. Apparently that's what happens when you put an observation tower in freefall drop mode. Yeah, it's really nice to see how he also corrupted these coasters at the place where uh, the void is. For example, you can see uh, the coaster go around here. Uh, well, actually, the coast is broken down now. He also said the reliability of these coasts is really low. I'm not sure if that was intentional, but that also means that all his rides uh, keep breaking down. But yeah, if that was intentional, I think it's a cool touch for the park. Um, well, uh, there were also some downsides to the park, I think. Well, especially uh, in this uh, building. Of course, it's difficult to make a really nice looking building when you don't have much time. Because these buildings really take a long time. So I think this uh, b building leaves a little bit to desired, especially on the roof. But the rides, I think they are done uh, really well. Especially this uh, El Loco ride, which uh, can be found here in the park. This uh, support structure is really uh, interesting. So yeah, I think it was a really nice entry and uh, very creative with the black tile void and the tentacles coming from it. Okay, here's the entry from Enox. Uh, Enox made this uh, river rafts ride in the, yeah, oh, again, of course, in Forest Frontiers. But he put some more uh, trees around it, uh, lots of ruins, uh, lots of these uh, gargoyle uh, statues, or whatever they're called. <laughs> I'm actually curious what the name of these is. Um, here, here we have one. Oh, it's actually dragon attacking. All right. It's probably just uh, of these, uh, some of this. Uh, Expansion uh, scenery. Oh, yeah. These are simply called uh, statue. But yeah, I think this looks really cool. Uh, I love all the buildings that he uh, put here. These buildings uh, look really interesting. There's also a haunted house here. I think it fits really well here on this island. 
lots of uh, interaction here as well uh, some bridges where the boats pass by and also uh, some which they uh, pass under I think the only downside to this entry is that it looks a little bit uh, bright uh, maybe you should have gone for some da darker colors of uh, some darker shades of trees and also these flowers I think they're a little bit too bright for it to be nice and spooky maybe instead of white you could have gone for dark purple or something or black but still I think this is a lovely entry and uh, there's just so much uh, interaction and it's really cool to look at okay here's the entry from cactus coffee he made this really cool entry um, I believe the story was something like <laughs> Uh, a portal to hell opened up in Forest Frontiers. Um, I'm sure it will be fine. <laughs> he made some really cool coasters here. Um, this a stand-up coaster. Why? Well, stand-up coasters are definitely coasters that belong in hell. So uh, that's quite appropriate. He also made this uh, coaster, which looks like kind of looks like a Folare with its spiral lift. Except it's not really a flying coaster. It's uh, it u I believe it uses the Spiral, okay, um, I'm looking at the wrong one. <laughs> oh, well, it's quite uh, difficult to select the vehicles. I'll, do, I'll just pause the game. So it used four across and four throw. So it's probably just the B&M uh, coaster uh, trains. That's also why it can do these uh, inversions. But yeah, uh, I really love the colors that, uh, that he uh, used in his uh, palette. This uh, this, is lo this looks really good here. I think it combines really well with the color of the water. I think that just looks uh, looks so nice. All the other rides here look good as well. I uh, also love the entrance of the park. And one f uh, touch that I also really like is that he uh, put some <laughs> entertainers here in the water. And he froze them in a drowning state. So you can see Marcus Junius Brutus here. Adolf Hitler as well. You are in it as well. I believe there was someone else, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I think this is uh, this was a really nice entry. I actually gave gave this the maximum score myself because I loved it so much. Okay, then there's just two entries uh, remaining. I will just show both of them, and after that, I will reveal which one was the winner. Okay, here's the entry from Mulpje. And Mulpje made this beautiful uh, sculpture here uh, at the entrance. So it uh, looks like a deer, with, but with fire for eyes. Well, there was a story about it, but I cannot really recall what it was called. But still, this uh, this just looks uh, amazing. This uh, this is some great uh, track texture here. That's uh, that's just awesome work. Also, some black tile uh, colored objects here, just to make it look like there's uh, holes here. Uh, well, here's uh, also at the back of the park. There's this really cool looking RMC coaster, uh, also with a beautiful station. Uh, yeah, it's, it's incredible that Milpi put all of this down in 24 hours. But then again, I'm sure, pretty sure he mo makes most of his normal contest entries in 24 hours as well. <laughs> oh yeah, um, I think the RMC uh, has some uh, weird uh, design choices, especially uh, all these uh, spirals here. I think uh, RMC uh, coasters typically focus more on airtime instead of uh, helixes. But still, I think it looks good in the space that is available here in the back of the park. And the landscaping around it, uh, like Mopi always does, the landscaping is done just done in a really uh, enjoyable way. So yeah, great work from uh, Mopi. Okay, and then we get to see the final entry. This was the entry made by Manticore007, or just Manticore as he goes by uh, now. Well, <laughs> he made this huge cathedral in Forest fr Frontiers. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think it's just amazing. He was, he was. Uh, I think it's just amazing he was able to put this down in 24 hours. This must have taken quite a while to build, and it just looks incredible. It's just a really nice mixture of uh, all these different scen scenery pieces, but also, uh, for example, these track pieces uh, to make these arches here. These abstract windows in the red color, just to make it look a little bit more spooky. Um, yeah, this this is just one incredible building. Also love this uh, this uh, spire here at the back, and a great uh, fountain in front as well. Now there were also some downsides in the par park. I mean, he spent so much time on this cathedral that he uh, 
yeah, I think he uh, should have also spent some of that time on this uh, RMC coaster here. For example, uh, yeah, it just looks uh, a bit under supported in many places. It's a very high coaster. And for example, there's even some trees under the RMC uh, right here. So that's uh, definitely uh, things you'll want to avoid. There's another tree under it right here. So he definitely uh, rushed uh, the coaster a bit there. So that's a little bit sad to see. But of course, this uh, building is uh, one of the most amazing things uh, I've seen in Royal Coaster Tycoon 2 so far. Okay, then it's time to reveal who is the winner of this round. The winner of the Spooky Frontiers mini contest is... Mentacore 007. Yeah, uh, personally, this was not my favorite, but uh, most people voted, uh, well, gave this one the highest score. Of course, this cathedral is just amazing, and it deserves a really high score. Personally, I would have also liked to see the rest of the park give, uh, yeah, get that same kind of uh, polish. But still, uh, most people liked it, so this is uh, the winner of the round. Well, I really uh, enjoyed seeing uh, what everybody was able to uh, build in such a short time on this uh, well-known uh, map in a spooky theme. It was a really fun contest, so for sure we'll do another one like this uh, sometime in the future. Okay, if you want to join any of these contests, uh, you simply have to become a member on my Discord server. Uh, Discord is completely free, you can find the link to my Discord server in the video description. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching all these entries and uh, I'll see you again in the next video. See you later.